Hey guys, it's TechRacer and today we take a look at the Oxygen OS 10.0.1 update on the OnePlus 5T. So recently OnePlus has rolled out the 10.0.1 update with a lot of bug fixes as well as a new security patch update for the OnePlus 5 and 5T. So we are going to take a look at the OnePlus 5T. So I have already downloaded the update as you can see. As you can see the update size is of 263 MB and here is uh, are some of the change log. As you can see now we have the new latest security patch that is of September 2020 but currently it's November so I don't know why. Then we do have some fixes in the automatic call recording and then deactivating of alarm when the phone is switched off so again that is fixed in this update. We do have some improvements in the APIs as well as uh, using the GMS package. The best thing about 5T is that the full screen gestures are back. So currently um, uh, we are using the standard navigation gestures of swiping from left or right side in order to go back to the previous menu. But the previously it was from the bottom side so when we swipe from bottom left or right it used to go back. So that feature is brought back uh, in this update. We do have some EIS stabilization again enabled in the camera department. So let's quickly install the update and see what are the changes. So as the phone has been updated as you can see so uh, the system update is complete as you can see system has been updated so let's quickly jump into the settings and take a look at the android version or the latest security version as you can see it's uh, oxygen os 10.0.1 so yeah it's updated and android version is 10 so again it's based on android 10 and the security update is of 1st september 2020 again it's uh, november right now but still previously it was july so according to that it's september so again uh, it has been updated so let's quickly jump back to the system updates and uh, take a look at the system change log so you can see it's 10.0.1 with update log of this and these are the some of the minor changes such as uh, the call recording issues has been fixed and then we have some new gms packages but the main uh, major update is the security patch update that is the september 2020 and again that we have new changes in the full screen gesture so previously we used to uh, swipe from left or right in order to go back in the menu but uh, now uh, we got back the options of uh, swiping from the bottom in order to go back in the menu so let's quickly jump into the uh, buttons and gestures as you can see in the navigation bar and gestures we do have new options of navigation navigation gestures from bottom so now if we swipe from the left or right side we can go back in the menu so the left or right side has been disabled so again that's quite handy feature because most of the users were complaining about the um, swipes of from the left and right side so again that has been fixed or uh, given in this update and after that we have the EIS enabled in the camera department so again it will be completely tested when we use the camera so again the EIS has been restored to its previous state in this update. So this is pretty much it for this video guys. If you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching.